So we have with us uh, uh, Professor um, Nadir Arber, who is uh, the man who has created XOCD24, um, a drug that has been called a, a miracle drug and uh, that it could potentially cure pa patients who have been infected with COVID-19 um, and are in a serious or moderately serious condition. As you well know, there is two phases of the COVID-19 infection. The first one is a viral infection, it's like influenza like that doesn't really need any therapy. However, in five, six, seven percent of the populations, after five to seven days, there is rapid clinical deterioration that is manifested by increasing breathing rate, decreasing oxygen saturations. That's what we call the cytokine storms. And this can lead to rapidly deteriorations and a pulmonary insufficiency. It, it's very difficult to see as physicians, definitely as a patient, that patients feel as if they are suffocating, they cannot breathe, drowning. And this is exactly what we are trying to prevent. So in my lab, we know how to isolate this exosome, concentrate them, and also how to force them to express CD24. I can strongly that I've been personally given to 180 inhalations to 35 patients, the drug is safe. Have to be simple. And this is simple. You just need inhalations. It lasts a few minutes, three to four minutes, once a day. What's also important that we can produce it fast, effectively, efficiently, rapidly, and a low cost. Definitely it will be significant. And within a few months, we can supply the entire needs of the world. It's also pleasant to see that there is a good potential that the drug is effective. It is based on a few parameters, clinical parameters, the patients tell me, Nadir, we can breathe. We can do things that we couldn't. It usually takes after one to two inhalations. After three days, they said they feel that the, the disease was stabilized and they were in severe conditions according to the WHO criteria. And most of them were discharged after three to five days. Having said that, I would like to emphasize that in order to really know the efficacy of a drug, it must be compared to placebo. And that's what we are aiming now, to complete this phase two and phase three, and then negotiating with the police, a government, as well as many other governments around the world. But since your prime minister had a press conference with my prime minister, and I respect them, and they said that they are going to do it. So now I'm waiting for the approval of the Minister of Health that what we produce and we send them exactly how we produce that, if it is acceptable. And if it is, we can go ahead and start this phase two, phase three trial. And there is a lot of wisdom in Greece, especially I like the history of Greece. It's amazing and I'm, it's an honor to, to collaborate with you. It's, uh, it, it's definitely um, great, uh, I think, for, uh, for Greece as well. And a lot of people are expecting uh, the, uh, the so-called miracle drug here as well. So basically what the drug does is that it prevents um, the cytokine storm, uh, that uh, response of our immune system. And that is done uh, through inhalations. Why? How come it's not administered uh, by mouth? This cytokine storm is mainly in the lungs. So we, when we give it by inhalation, it's go directly to the place of fire. So it's very easy to um, administer. People could take it at home even. You don't have to be in a hospital. So you have a COVID-19 patient, there's not in severe condition, it does go at home. But then you feel that it starts to deteriorate, it starts to breathe heavily, everyone can check oxygen, so when it goes down, then we take this. And you have previously told me um, that these patients instantly started feeling better and they were able to take a shower. Most of them say, we can breathe again, we can walk, we can speak. So there was, it's quite not um, pleasant situations because the patients are very isolated. They are very isolated. Yeah. You know, they can start, they can wash themselves, they can, they can start to eat. It's a big difference. We understand the meanings of life. How old were the patients uh, who have already taken the drug? The youngest was 37, the oldest was 78. 
Tell me a bit about um, Greece. So what is the plan now? I is it under discussion for the second phase of the trial to be held in Greece as well as Israel or other countries are involved too? So I'm aiming to have this international multicenter study, but you know, it's goes of the first country that is ready will start with it. So we're in advanced negotiation with the Greece Ministry of Health. We had a teleconference with the Ministry of Health, with your top scientists, top clinicians, the prime minister, and now I'm waiting for the approval of the Greece Ministry of Health that we can go ahead. And I'm quite positive, like you see, we are investing a lot in order to produce the drug. Uh, do you think that we have good chances of uh, having the drug here for the second phase of the trial? Because of the relationship between Israel and Greece, perhaps? That is a very good relationship, but you know, we, we believe in people to people and we have discussed before, you know, Greece has a lot of importance in the world history. Democracy came from you, which things that I strongly believe in, so I have all the respect and all these marvelous, clever people that you know from, like we have discussed about Heraclitus, which I quote in a lot of my lectures. So it is an honor to work and collaborate with people who had so much contribution to mankind. I think these vaccinations and the drug are combining to each other and give us close to 100% protections. And this is very important because we must go back to normal life. This is the biggest damage and that the COVID-19 has caused that we became isolated there are so many people that were uh, distracted by financially, and we must go back to normal life. I think combining the vaccinations and my drug or maybe other drugs can be the solution. I'm feeling that we are coming and we know the answer for this and to have the medical solution for it this year. How did you feel when you saw the first results that it actually worked? It is amazing. It's like... Uh, I guess you people in Greece will understand it's like winning the derby when Panathinaikos is playing against Aristotle. So this is something almost, it's not exactly, but almost. And there is nothing like when you think about something, you produce it, it's right in the cube, then it's right in animates, and you give it to humans being. Prim no no not, sir, it doesn't cause any harm, and it's also good potential to be cured. It's almost like winning the derby. When is the earliest time that it could be? <laughs> Uh, available for the wider population? I think it's going to be quite fast. I mean, even this year, it's quite amazing because you will know that to develop a drug takes a decade, million of a dollar a year, so you can do it cheaper and faster. Mm -hmm. It all depends on also the, re the regulations. So in Israel, the Israel Minister of Health was very tough with me about safety and I'm happy about it. At the same time, they were willing to release and we loosen some of the obstacles, the regulatory obstacles. So again, it's now it's in the hand of the Greece um, Minister of Health. They understand that we are in time of war, and time of war, the regulation should, I think it always should be better and more friendly to physicians and scientists, but I'm not getting into this discussion. But definitely now, safety is, we cannot compromise on it. But some other regulations can be loosened and can be so because, like you said, it's a need, worldwide need and we must yeah. find solutions in order to go back to normal life. So would it be possible to have it before the end of the year? I think it is. So again, I think it's also very important for everyone to understand it's, the drug looks very safe. There is a good chance it is going to be effective, but we have to wait and do it like like the friend says, come for we have to do it in the right way. Yeah. So we can do it faster. We can help. The, this is a time that governments can help. Greece now at, have the first priority. Like my children said, a promise is a promise and it must be kept. So it was promised by our prime minister, we must keep it. But there is some other advanced negotiations with other countries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time once again. Thank you.